I dreamt of Malakor. I remember the ships, the last stand of the Republic. The tattered remnants of our fleet, the largest we could gather. But it was damaged, weakened, and vulnerable. The Mandalorians couldn't resist. They tore into us like beasts, shredding our ships to scrap as we fought back. Yet this time, there were no reinforcements for either side. Revan had been delayed out system by Mandalorian scout ships. By the time he arrived, it was too late. And beyond Malakor, there were no more Mandalorians left to die. I remember standing on the bridge with you and watching the destruction of the Republic, watching ships full of soldiers and Jedi burn and die. I remember the look you had when you turned to me. It was the longest you'd ever looked at me. You didn't say anything, just a nod. Events moved quickly then, even in my dreams. Flashes, explosions, you falling. I could feel the pain around me. And then the memory. The drifting hulks of the Mandalorian ships, the dead, allies, friends, strangers. And then the echo, lingering. The sound I awakened to in my nightmares. Blame lies with me for creating it. The situation forced your hand. Anger forced mine. You realized that unless action was taken, the fleet would be destroyed and the Republic would fall. None of us realized the magnitude of what we unleashed. So you fought against the Mandalorians in the war? I was part of the war effort, yes. I worked as a technician, though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor. The absolute destruction your warriors brought. And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. If I were you, I'd pick your words more carefully. You fought for no cause other than to spread suffering and pain to the people you conquered. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory and the heat of battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just got what you deserved at Malakor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover, stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well... I'm glad to have you guarding my back. Fine by me.